Hi guys, Problematic Boy here with a, another build video for Torchlight Infinite. Uh, this is a Bleed Rahan. It's sort of using a lot of the same philosophy as the Bleed Carino. And you'll notice <laughs> you'll notice it's a little bit faster. Um, just run a T7 here. I'll make this video a lot quicker. It won't be a 20 minute video where I'm like explaining bleed mechanics, but if anyone has bleed questions, of course, feel free to leave them in the comments. And we just sleep through the map, pretty much. And everything explodes. Now, one thing about Bleed that I've noticed is that even though this build definitely has more single target than the previous Bleed build, it even on the dummy shows that it has less single target, so I don't really know what's going on with dummy and Bleed. But to get an accurate assessment of your damage is pretty difficult, I feel. See, that's a lot faster. And we'll just run through the League mechanic here. And then I'll, you know, slowly show the talents. This is the current talent setup I'm using. Uh, but, uh, there's a lot of options you can do. So just know that what I'm going to show you is not set in stone. You can swap a lot of things around. Okay. So let's talk about things. Uh, let's talk, I'll just show the talents off first. Okay, so you go God of War, you want Brutality, because it's just 35% additional fizz, and you want Instant Smash, because we're doing a lot of crit. Um, we're getting crit damage from against bleeding enemies, it's also giving us ailment damage because of Warlock. Uh, Warlock, very good. Warlock is just like mandatory in any bleed build, I feel, and uh, we're also getting, you know, additional bleed damage up by crit strikes, it's just, you know, double damage. And then here we go, we're just taking as much life, crits bleed ailments you know just getting all this stuff regain is great and then i went ranger uh with gravity and uh impending i think impending is your best option for the second talent here i'm not so sure uh gravity i'm pretty sure is giving me 20 percent additional bleed but lucky crit could also be really good so keep that in mind i might even try playing with the lucky crit uh you get crit strike the crit damage is relevant. I mean, 50% crit damage is about, uh, oh boy, it's like 15% ailment damage, so it's it's pretty good. Uh, get area, life is great, we love it. And then I got fervor here. Gain fervor when there are enemies nearby, and then crit damage for fervor is also good. It goes up to 40%, and that's also like using my brain uh it's ailment damage so uh go down to warlock uh this is i mean the main difference is in the video of bleak carino i wasn't scaling crit at all uh because i didn't take vile i took merciless instead this build really does lean into the crit a lot more so you definitely want to go vile so that you're getting double duration and then you're getting one percent additional ailment damage per three percent of critical strike damage that's really important so Keep that in mind that crit damage is scaling your stuff. And that off the beam track is just good. We're not really blurry, doing as much blur stuff. But we do still want blur on defeat because I like having it. It's, it's a nice chunk of defense. And just like the previous build, you know, make sure you're getting uh, this medium talent here. Plus one maximum energy charges. Getting life. Getting the sealed mana. And then getting the, getting the crit rating. So those are the talents. I'll go into the gear because it's a little bit different. Obviously, since we're melee, uh, we're still using the Praise of Blood Gloves from before. Uh, they give the explosion. Super good. I switched the, to armor here. We have Barrier on Defeat and Demolisher Charge Recovery Speed, which is super important because we're using Ground Shaker or Ground Shatter. I don't know what it's called. Defensive Chest. I'm, sw I'm swapping this out for a Demolisher Base Necklace. And here's some... The, the belt that you need, okay? The belt that you need, it has to have re purification on it. 
uh, because repurification, like I said in the previous video, we're not getting it from the talents, we're getting it from our infinity belt. So, uh, this is like the the one necessary, super necessary item in the build is, uh, you need this belt. And if you don't have this belt, uh, change your talent setup <laughs> so that you, so that you have, uh, so that you have psychic so you can get repurification. And then, uh, yeah, bleed gloves... And then talking about necessary items in the build, you need a decent axe, at least one. Uh, I would recommend getting two. Uh, this mod here, add 165% of physical damage of the main hand weapon to base blade damage, is super important to have at T1 and it stacks. So just know that you want to have one axe that has sick gear physical on it. Uh, obviously this one is not great because uh, we have base blade and it actually calculates to where you really want something like this. But I don't have the ominous on it right, or on it yet. So we have the T1 Fizz, and then we have this T1 mod, and then we need to get the ominous Fizz mod here, and then this will be my main hand axe. And then you want to craft an offhand axe that has flat base bleed, generic Fizz, and then the other mod that the stacking mod that stacks with the main hand one that gives uh, physical damage with base bleed. And then you probably don't want skill area. You probably just want something like crit, or I don't, I don't fucking know, like attack speed and then uh if you want something cheaper just get one decent axe and go what's the shield this shield uh thorn shield uh this is useless this is useless but this mod right here is pretty good uh it just gives you a bunch of bleed damage uh, I, I see a lot of people recommending this shield and it's a great starting point but it's really not something you should rely on and it's not gear that you're aiming for it's just a cheap thing to get you started eventually you are going to want two axes so you're going to want to craft them a bit differently you have mind you want your main hand axe to be something like this axe here that i'm putting here it's not the finished craft yet but we're working on it and you just want high gear fizz this is going to be replaced with the Ominous that goes to 120 to 180 percent gear physical damage. You want the T1 flat fizz, and you want this, and then uh, we have a reap on it because we need more reap sources, and I have gear crit and bleed damage, so that's good. And your offhand axe, remember the flat bleed generic, and just get like reaping cooldown recovery speed. The reap rings are recycled from the other build; they're pretty good. Uh, anything else to talk about the skills? We're using Ground Shaker. Um, so, little bleed info here. Uh, I used to think this was the only number that mattered. Damage multiplier. And that these numbers, these weapon attack damage numbers, didn't really matter. As you can see, we have 951% weapon attack damage on this uh, Ground Shaker. It is applying to the bleed. I have confirmed through testing that this is a 900% modifier on the bleed when you are using the Demolisher Charge. Now, Demolisher Charge, uh, a lot of your single target is locked into it, so we're using Quick Return. We're using Crit Damage Increase because this is a very high amount of ailment damage. Uh, we're using Enhanced Ailment for Ailment Damage, we're using Steam Rule for Ailment Damage in Area, and we're using Deep Wounds to get that Bleed Damage and Bleed Chance. Uh, Raging War Cry so that we get more Demolisher Charge Recovery Speed is super nice. Uh, leap Attack is our clear. I put a Reaping Agony on it uh, just so that it, uh, you know, inflicts Bleed and then it, you know, deals the dot and then blows it up. Uh, Steamroll Deep Wounds. Crit Damage Increase is actually more damage than Enhanced Ailment. It works out if you have the Warlock Talent, so if you have the Warlock Talent, do that. Bull's Rage is melee skill damage, so it does apply to the bleed, and you get area, so Bull's Rage is great. Bloodthirst, just for quality of life. I might honestly switch Bloodthirst for Potion, because we have some very scary moments, or Life Source, even. Maybe even Life Source, because uh, while we're mapping... Uh... Maybe we even go Bloodthirst Recovery or, or something weird like that, because I don't I don't know what to do about this. Uh, it's uh, it's very odd. I'm going to try it out. Hold on. Let me just uh, get Berserk going here. Who knows how it's going to work, but I'm not going to show it in the video. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like changing my build right now. Okay, that's that. Uh, R is fearless because we're getting crit rating, which is you know giving us more chance to get that double duration, double bleed damage. Uh, critical strike damage is giving us ailment damage, and area is just nice. Acuteness imbue with the buff, additional fizz. The bleed is physical damage, so it's giving us a boost there. Already a 10 minute video, and then we're cruising with vulnerability. That is that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been a problematic boy build. If you have any questions about bleed or what, uh, like more details or whatever, just let me know. I forgot one thing. Hero traits just go for the normal berserker ones that have crit and. Uh, you can go hard in here. Uh, there's like other rings, but make sure you have reap on your burst. Kind of can't see it because of my uh, my freaking camera here. But you want reaping agony and you want harden for survivability. Uh, you could try out other things if you want. All right, bye bye. See you next time.